Hey guys, it's Motherhood Monday. My name is Annabelle and this is the first edition in March of the Motherhood Monday playlist where I talk about my journey to getting pregnant and becoming a mum to that baby who will grow up to be a positive, productive, functioning adult within society. Not sure what place that will be in, whether London or EU or what continent, what region, what county, I do not know yet. I'm on this journey and I'm documenting it. So, yeah, I don't want another month to pass by while I'm in this refuge. I didn't want it to be a part of this journey. I just didn't want it to be a part of this journey. It's not my want. I've said that so many times. And last week I told you I need some more psychological help with what's happening whilst I'm in that borough, several boroughs away from my mother's residential address. So I do have um, some fear about becoming a mum. London Met Police and what they will do should I report a crime that has violated myself as a mum, as a woman, and that I might have violated a child, or my baby, or my son or daughter. <sighs> so where does a mum go to research what the duty is of the London Met Police? They are there to police the streets, and when there's a crime in the streets, or in your home, you expect them to do their part. Where do you research what their duty is? I'm not sure if I want to make a complaint yet because if I have to do that through 101, and so far my experience with 101 has led me to a women's refuge where I don't want to be. So I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't want to take the law into my own hands, but when it comes to health and safety on this journey to becoming a mum, it's highly likely that I'll end up doing that. That's why I wanted the psychological help from a professional who's experienced. And I'm not sure if I can get a professional with experience in the psychological problem that I'm having in that borough where the refuge is. So my health, my fitness, my diet and nutrition is still not being maintained. <sighs> I can't even tell you why it's not being maintained. I wish I could because I'd be doing it. I'd be giving you videos. Possibly because of the nightmares and the daydreams and the memory replays that I've been having in the borough that where the refuge is. Possibly that is what it is. But then, when you give yourself a little pep talk in your mind, it makes me think, okay, fuck what happened in the memory replay. Put your gym kit on. And then start looking for a DVD player. <laughs> There's no TV or DVD player in the contained apartment in the refuge where I am sleeping there, there, there isn't one so that would mean downloading so i guess this week i'm going to find out how i can do download the app i found the app so now i need to download that safely onto my laptop and onto my mobile phone device so that i can then get my gym kit and start kit getting fit Nutrition wise, that comes with like a weekly shopping routine. And the memory replays are just messing with my shopping routine right now. And like I said, with regards to my mental health on this journey, I may not be in the right borough to reach out to the, prof to the professionals available to me. Ugh. And with regards to nutrition, I am about to start the chosen vitamins that help the female reproductive organs. 
and I'm about to start. I'm not sure if I should start that on the first day of my period or the first day of my predicted ovulation. I'm not sure yet. So I need to do a little bit of research and I guess I'll update you tonight on the Instagram story and on Facebook when it is the best time. Oh, I need to make a few phone calls. When's the best time to start taking um, the vitamins if you're not sexually active? Is it the first day of your period or the first day of your predicted ovulation based on your menstrual cycle? So you'll find out in the Instagram story what that is. So yeah, I have um, got to make this so quick and shoot off with this journey to Motherhood Monday. It starts in London and that was my choice based on facing reality and not being able to remove barriers and overcome challenges in Ghana. It was my choice to start a new life in Ghana, but then <laughs> the reality hit me like I don't speak fancy gut or chi. I speak English. I understand English only, so that's why I decided London's the best place. And no matter what the London Met Police have done, no matter what the authorities or the NHS have done, I'm still going to start this journey. So I need, still need the psychological help. So I've got to make it two phone calls and I'll update you on the Instagram story. So thanks guys for listening and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and I'll see you on Wednesday.